or for example, you can take this node and you can bring out and you can have this out. You can do this with all my uh, element here. If uh, so, I can close or don't have more uh, node around. And here I have my node here. For uh, disconnect the node, another way, another types is with the shake. I can select the node, press uh, hold down uh, on the left mouse button and with the shake, and uh, I don't uh, I disconnect this. It's very nice. For uh, path inside this uh, network box, I can just these highlights and can I path inside. And this is inside. This is one way, for example. Okay, now I want to uh, create uh, my um, uh, my part, my rails. Okay. I need to create the element here. For create the element here, I can use the simple uh, element with the, the curve, okay? The curve, I can write curve, and I don't see nothing here. I don't see nothing here because I need to click, and I, and I see if I click around, I create the curve, okay? Press enter for exit from this tools, this creation mode. And now I can see if I click here, I can take this element and move it the points. Okay, if I press enter exit for this element. Okay, now here the curve, it's the curve is the polygon, or you can choose the knobs. It's the different kind of uh, how is interpreted the Angular and the grids in uh, the grids inside uh, the, um, this uh, element, okay, and you can also change uh, the element. But uh, more important is that I'm going to delete this now, and I want to uh, uh, create the curve from the uh, side view. From the side view, I can move it from the set view. And I can go, for example, in front, okay, here. And I can write curve. Also, now and here. I want to attach my point to the grid. For attach the point to the grid, I need to use the snap tools. Here I have all snap, okay, for example, the snap to the grid, snap into the line, snap into the points. Uh, here I can choose the snap into the grids and I want to uh, uh, create, for example, the points here, points here, and I go up like this. Then I go up like this. And then I want to up like this and this. Okay, enter. And now I convert to the knobs. I have this shape, okay, I can, for example, put the human side, also that, and I can no, I move it to zero. Here, for every, for each point, for example, I select this point and I see this change here. I have the coordinate for X, Y, and Z. So you can uh, also change manually if you want to uh, become a few crazy when you work with coordinate. Okay. Now I want to uh, create the revolution, the revolve on this, uh, for example. Here I have the order of my uh, points because uh, what is it, this order? When you work with the knobs, the knobs is very particular curve. If you use, for example, if you can know, for example, rhinoceros, you can understand what I mean. Usually, when you work with the line, you have, with the knobs, you have, you have create the one point, point B, 
we have another point here, B and C, okay? The line you can create inside here is, is the handle, is the, the line, the connection is, or is strange, but the, the curve is like this. And this, this is the, the order, is the degrees of the distance from this point and this point. If you change, for example, here, you can see is change the attraction from the points, okay? If I put, for example, 10, is not more attracted the, my line to the points. If I put, for example, 2, is more attracted, is not uh, curved. Usually in uh, all software you use the knobs you can use with the, the free order or for order. By default it's for order because for order is the good, um, good deal from this attraction to this point and for create the good line, okay? This is the good uh, uh, kind of mathematically, but uh, this, mm, I don't want to go more around uh, of these knobs. But you, you, you remember if you have the, the four, it's you have the classic knobs and it's good for create this kind of shape. The problem is when you want, for example, create the uh, strange line with the knobs. How I can create the strange line with the knob. So I can create the points here and the second point here is very nice and the first the third point here and continue it. In this way I have one point, this is the handle and here this part your curve is very near and the attraction also with the four is, rap is uh, the strange line. Okay, so you have the strange line when you work with uh, the knobs. Do you remember that? Because this is very important when you work with knobs for create the strange line. And you can delete all and come back. Okay, now I can create the revolve. And for create the revolve, I can uh, tab revolve. And revolve is created the shape. And the shape, uh, it's... Uh, it's okay, I can also come back uh, in a prospective view with the space bar one. And you can see it's automatically it's created the shape. The shape is uh, with uh, the quadrilaters uh, connective uh, and uh, here you can choose, for example, if I put 100. Okay, it's not change more, okay. This is the division. This is the order for your, this is the end cap if you want to close it. The arc, open arc, okay. You can change, for example, close the arc. Oh, it's nice, you can find, but usually by default it's uh, it's good. Also, you can change the direction of your axis. This is the X, Y, and Z. Y, it's up, so it's 1 if I put 0, and 1 for, uh, for example, the X, this direction, is create on the top, the base here, and the top here. If I create, for example, uh, for minus one in the e, here it's the same because the shape is the same but you can also change also the origin I don't remember ah okay where is the but is only it's okay for now that now we can check with template with template we can check the dimension maybe it's uh, too big so we can come back on my shape and I want to change, for example, that because I want this more.
Okay, now we can change the position of this element. And for change the position of this uh, element, uh, we can go here and create the transform swap. And in the transform swap, you can move it also with manually, it's not important. Uh, you can use this, you can see. Let's see if I go in with the spacebar free. Okay, it's a go inside, but uh, it's not a problem, I can go up here, but it's, uh, it's okay. Okay, now I want to uh, create uh, a copy. Why I want to create the copy? Because I want to uh, create a copy for another part here inside. Okay, and uh, I can create when uh, I go to here and maybe Maybe I can, uh, okay, I can move it that, not here, but I can move it that here. Space bar one. Yes, but this very big. I can change the few change of my edit. I can go here, for example. And I want to change the dimension of this element. I can also take two points, four points, T from a keyboard, and move it a few. Okay. Because uh, Okay, it's, I don't uh, use the dimension, okay? But um, here, if I don't use a few logical like uh, primitives, okay? Uh, I need the space for part this element here and need the space for the person, okay? Now I created the copy. In copy, I have the copy and transformation, or copies and stamp, or copy to points, etc. This is the first free I need. It's uh, now we can see the copy transform. Copy transform is create uh, a copy of my element. Okay, need to check also this in template. And the copy is two, but now I don't see that because uh, it's uh, uh, one copy over the over. So I need to move that. I can middle mouse of button and can move it. And if you want also, you can move it for uh, this because uh, I want also put a few exterior. And more move it. Okay. 